exciting day here at Robin's Cup of Tea headquarters, aka my house. Try to make that shit sound fancy. Hey guys, welcome back. It's an exciting day here on Robin's Cup of Tea because today I am bringing you my favorite lipsticks of 2016. These are the best of the best, the creme de la creme, and I can't wait to show you what I've picked out. I have five lipsticks for you, two of them are high-end, three of them are drugstore, and a few honorable mentions I'm gonna throw in here or there because I just can't help myself. Now I did post my best in beauty 2016 a while back that have all of my favorite makeup picks of the year that are not lipsticks. I just felt like lipsticks really needed and deserved their own special category because that's how special they are to me. I'll link that video up here and down in the description box if you wanna check that out. But we're gonna get into the best lipsticks. This was a heartbreaking task to pick my top five. I feel like all of my other lipsticks, I'm pointing there over here, I feel like all of my other lipsticks are crying just a little bit and I'm sorry, I love you too. You just didn't quite make the cut. So anyway, here are the top five, let's get started. So my favorite nude lipstick of the year is the MAC lipstick in Kinda Sexy. This is the matte finish. I do like the matte finish from MAC. I find it to be creamy enough and not drying. And I love this. Sometimes nude lipsticks are too light and they really wash me out. This has enough peachiness and warmth to it that I feel like I don't look like a corpse. I mean, I still look like a ghost, because you know, as Keith would say, I'm pale as shit but I don't look like a corpse, so that's a win. So this has been an absolute staple, love it. Another staple for me, especially in the first half of the year, is the Almay Smart Shade Butter Kiss Lipstick in Pink Light. Yes, Pink Light. These are very similar to Revlon Lip Butters. Almay and Revlon are owned by the same company, but I find these to be a little bit creamier and they don't have quite the same shade selection, but I do really, really like them. Pink Light is just that fresh, pink that I like to wear with minimal makeup. So if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup or I just wanna brighten up my look, I reach for this so, so, so moisturizing, uncomfortable, but I still get a decent amount of wear out of it. Love these. This is my absolute favorite color. I mean, that's all I have left, which for somebody who has the number of lipsticks that I have is pretty damn impressive. Let's talk about the other high-end lipstick in this collection. It is the Clinique, what are these called? Soft Matte Lipsticks in Matte. Plum. Now this one is in limited edition packaging, but it is available in the normal collection as well. And this is definitely my favorite purple of the year. It's this perfect combination of fuchsia and plum that I don't find in a lot of my other purple lipsticks. The formula is so comfortable. It's similar to the MAC matte formula and that it never fully dries down. It stays creamy and moisturizing, but it also doesn't slide all over your face. This is definitely my preferred way to wear mattes versus a liquid lipstick formula, which I just can't fully get on board, guys. I'm sorry, I just can't. You won't see any liquid lipsticks in this video, but I absolutely love this color, love the formula. A big win for 2016. I'm sorry for all the noise. Tut is running around like a crazy cat. And last time I filmed, I filmed the video with my mom that you guys saw, and we put him in the bedroom for a little while. Like when he gets really out of control, I just throw him in the bedroom and hope that he doesn't destroy my house. But you guys, he figured out how to open the door. That's right, my cat can open the door. And I found him digging into a bag of dog food. My favorite red lipstick of the year is obviously the one you've been seeing me wear throughout this whole video. And if you've been following my videos, you probably won't be surprised. This is the L'Oreal Collection Exclusive Red in Blake's Red. Now in general, I am a huge fan of this line of red lipsticks. I think the formula is a major improvement over L'Oreal's regular lipstick line. I wish they would extend this to other colors as well because it doesn't have that overpowering L'Oreal smell that we're used to. Seriously, he's so noisy. I'm sorry, but we're just gonna power through. We're just gonna keep going. And I think Blake's red is the perfect color for me and so many people. It really is a true red. It doesn't lean orangey and it doesn't lean too blue, but it does have just the tiniest amount of pink to make it softer and more wearable. This will stay on my lips for hours and hours. If you pair it with a lip liner, it will last forever. I've worn this to parties and not even had to touch up after eating with a lip liner, so the formula is totally beautiful and the color, you can't beat it. My last pick for the top five before we get into the honorable mentions is my favorite formula of the year. I mean, I found these when I did my drugstore first impressions week a few months ago and I am obsessed. I've got two more coming in the mail today. Like I am looking out the window, waiting for the UPS drop because that shit's coming today and I can't wait. It is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte 
lip color. My favorite color so far is HD Kisses. But you guys, these are so good. This is liquid lipstick that I can get on board with because it is not a completely matte liquid lipstick. Don't be fooled by the ultra. I don't know what they mean by HD, but this is supposed to be ultra HD. It is definitely not ultra matte but it dries down enough. In the swatch that you're seeing from this, you're gonna see a little bit more glossiness because I didn't have it on very long, I was just swatching it, but it really does dry down to just a creamy finish, but stays really comfortable. I can get four, five hours of wear easily. I wore this in a wedding. I mean, my one complaint is the smell. I mean, Revlon, what the fuck are you doing? Just get rid of the smell and then it will be perfect. But honestly, this is beautiful. I love, love, love this color. Totally obsessed, I've been wearing this tons. Okay, we're gonna dip into some honorable mentions and the first thing I'm gonna mention is another one of these. The other color I have, which I also love and I had a hard time choosing, which is HD Embrace. This is a really pretty nude. It's similar to Kind of Sexy with the peachiness, but I think it also has a little bit of pink thrown in. So I absolutely love this one. All the same things about the formula as HD Kisses. I also really like the applicator. It's flat and kind of like a wedge, like a triangular shape, which I think makes it pretty easy to apply. So yes, I had to throw this one in there as well. Speaking of Kind of Sexy and these peachy nudes, I also wanted to mention the Flower Beauty Lip Suede Velvet Lip Chubby in Mauve Over. I talked about this in my half drugstore, half high-end video as kind of a dupe for Kind of Sexy. I mean, they really do give the same look. They have similar formulas. I find the MAC to be a little bit creamier, but if you're looking for that color and you don't wanna pay quite the same price tag, then definitely check out the Flower Beauty. I could not recommend this more highly. Okay, two more honorable mentions. Just bear with me, okay? This is the best of the year. I have to be able to throw in, throw in a couple more. One of them is this Wet n Wild lipstick. What were these called? I think it's the metallic liquid lipstick and my two lips were sealed. I would totally include this in my top five, except it was limited edition, so you can't get it anymore. But oh my gosh, you guys, I'm running out of space. This is the most beautiful, like, peachy, gold, shimmery lip. I mean, I never thought that I would like a metallic lipstick until I tried these. I love the formula, I love the applicator. It has like a little scoop in it, so it really hugs your lips. And this one is by far my favorite color. Okay, and then this last honorable mention is kind of a cheat because I discovered it last month. I really haven't had it that long, but I just wanna say, Revlon, you're stepping up the game on the lipsticks. I appreciate that. I know you're watching. I know you're listening and you care, so that's awesome. But these, this new thing, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I have been a huge fan of Revlon lip butters since I first started getting into makeup. They were some of the first lipsticks I really liked. But I don't reach for them as much anymore because the formula doesn't appeal to me as much as it used to. These, what are these called? These are like the, okay, these are the Revlon Ultra HD lipsticks. They're supposed to be like a gel formula. These are like updated Revlon lip butters. And the reason I say updated is because they're more pigmented. Do you see that? That was just like one little swipe. It's more pigmented. It's really, really comfortable on the lips, but it's thinner. So you get that moisture, but it's not quite as thick and goopy and the color payoff is amazing. And oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I have been wearing this so much since I got it. This one is in the color HD Vineyard. And just like the matte lipsticks, I have two more of these coming in the mail today. Okay, Revlon was buy one, get one free at Ulta last week. So I might've gone a little overboard. I can't really include this one. I haven't had it very long. I haven't tried other colors to see if it's kind of consistent over the formula, but I do really love it and I wanted to mention it. And this one is in HD Vineyard. I might've already said that, but I don't remember. So yes, HD Vineyard for the third time. Okay, I'm out of breath. Like that was exciting. You guys have no idea how excited I get about lipsticks. I mean, you probably do because you see it all the time, but like it's even more, it's even more than you can imagine. Now I have to mention, because you might've noticed, there is not an orange lipstick on this arm. No orange lipsticks. And I love orange lipsticks. I feel like orange lipsticks are like my lipstick soulmate. I just love them so much, but I couldn't find one from this year that I was excited about. Like one that really excited me this year that isn't discontinued or like an old formula or something. So I am officially putting a challenge out there. Lipstick companies, step up your orange lipstick game because this girl is ready. I am ready to just paint my face in your orange lipsticks. I mean, just like paint the shit all over my face. I would if it were good enough. 
So these are the best of the best of 2016. I'm so excited about all of these lip colors. Definitely, definitely, definitely scroll down to the comments and let me know what your favorite lipsticks of 2016 were because I am ready to get more. I am ready to bring more lipsticks into my life in 2017 because I have a problem and I'm okay with it. Like, I like my problem. So let me know your recommendations so I can get some more and maybe it'll show up in the best of 2017. So hop on over to Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat and follow me at Robin's Cop and hit subscribe. That's the most important thing you could do because I want to see you guys here next time. Bye video because if you've been around here for a while you know that lipsticks are very close to my heart as is the cat that won't shut up.